Right, okay, let's go to farming for an Excel file here for collecting some sensory evaluation um, data and then producing some basic analysis to it. So there's two aspects to this first page. We'll notice down the bottom it's got a number of workbooks, participant form, then a number of teams, and eventually summary, which we'll have a look at a little bit later on. The first form is to be attributes. Now, obviously, you fill these in based on your particular product. At the moment, there's eight. Uh, we can change that to a smaller number if necessary. But the point about this is when you change any of these, so example, I'm going to change seven to acid. We notice down here it changed to acid. And we'll look on this page as well, it's changed to acid here as well. Uh, right, so you can propagate this across all your forms. It's quite easy to do. Now, the other form is forms to print out for our participants. Uh, so this is the information you basically want. I've set up as a nine point hedonic scale. Uh, you might want to change the number of points, it's up to you. Uh, you print this out, you, get the you give the participants a participant number and you also make sure you record your team number. Now this is ready to print out. If you go to, uh, go to file home and print, you'll see it's already set up to print. I'm not going to obviously, so we'll go back to there. Right, okay, so you print that out. You print out how many you need for your participants, remember your new team number. And then you collect the results on forms like this. So this is a form of team one. And we put the participant scores in for the first two participants. You work out an average. It'll give you a radar chart. Um, it's, it's a radar chart with all eight. And we'll have to think about that in a second. Obviously, if you want something else, it's fairly straightforward to do. We just collect the information the same way as we would do for any sort of uh, graph. And insert, you know, perhaps a bar chart, if that's what you want. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, right, now, okay, so, now it may be that you don't have eight attributes, so, if the problem with this is if you take these off, uh, these will go to zero, and will cause your graph to look a bit strange. So what we need to do is a little bit of modification on this graph, and it's quite straightforward to do. We just double click on it, and in a moment you'll see select data here, up here, up, here, up, 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 here, up here. So bring that over, go to edit series, uh, go to edit series values and in this case make sure move that down there we're only editing the first six in this case click on ok and we get a much better looking uh, graph so there's not some uh, some misplaced areas because we didn't have all eight of them um, so this is designed in the first principle for four different teams now it also does a summary which is useful to compare teams but also you don't have to just do this as teams. This could be different products. So if you have a different different products and you evaluate in each of them, you could do it using uh, the team one, the team two, the team three tabs. Uh, so it should be straightforward enough, and you get some nice graphs. Uh, I haven't particularly added a lot of information to the graphs, but that'll be up to you to decide what you want to do. We've got averages there, um, and again, there's more graphs you could do. Right, I'll post that in the relevant Blackboard module, and I hope that's useful.